Hello all, my name is Krishna. I come welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, morning I had actually asked you a statistical question which was recently asked uh, in an interview to one of my subscriber. As you all know guys, uh, most of the interview questions whichever I get to know, I am definitely uploading that in my interview playlist. And uh, whenever I find out any new questions, I'll pro probably make a video with respect to that. So let me just tell you what was the question basically asked and for that in the morning also I had actually created a video many of you actually gave the right answer and yes many of you were also actually confused okay with respect to the question that i had asked so the question was that just tell us some of the classical examples of the right skewed distribution and the left skewed distribution and the second question was that what is the relationship between the mean median mode of right skewed distribution and the left skewed distribution now first of all we'll try to understand what exactly is right skewed distribution and left skewed distribution? Now guys, whatever data you take and probably if you're trying to plot it in the form of histogram, in the form of kernel density estimator, and whenever you see this kind of right hand side elongated uh, line, right? Like this, like this kind of distribution, this is basically called as right skewed data, okay? That basically means your right side, right hand side of this particular curve is a little bit elongated when compared to the left hand side, right? Now, some of the classical examples over here. So I'm just going to take some of the example. The first example that I would like to take is wealth distribution. This is a very classical example, which recruiters also like to hear. Just imagine some of the top most richest people like Elon Musk, uh, Jeff from Amazon, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, they usually fall in this particular region, even Ambani. And they are very less number of people, uh, you know, who follows in this specific region. Whereas in this particular region, you'll be finding people with the same amount of wealth, right? This is one classical example. The second classical example that I would like to take is probably you can, you, you know that like you have seen my channel, you have seen most of my videos, guys. You'll be seeing that some of the people like to write a longer comments, right? Probably after seeing a video. So length of the comments, length of comments, probably in my video. This is also a classical example, right? So here you'll be seeing that some of the people will be writing longer comments. They are also some of the people who will be writing smaller comments and some of the people will, most of the people will be writing medium size comment, probably one liner, right? So this is two classical examples that I want to give. Yes, in the morning video, many people gave some amazing examples itself, right? And you should also check out that. Again, the link will be given in the description. Now coming to the second uh, distribution, second distribution, which is called a symmetrical distribution. This is nothing but our normal distribution. This is the example, normal distribution. I think we have worked out normal distribution with respect to our machine learning problem statement. I'll got some of the algorithms once all of the features falling in this kind of, most of the features falling in this kind of distribution itself. Some of the classical example is that age distribution, probably weight distribution, uh, probably height distribution. They all follow this kind of normal distribution. And even if you have worked with Irish data set, you saw that in the Irish data set, you had features like petal length, petal width, sepal length and sepal width, right? That was also falling this kind of normal distribution. And remember guys, most of the machine learning algorithm likes the data to have this kind of normal distribution property. Or and why it is called a symmetrical distribution? Because the right hand curve will almost be equal to the left hand curve. Okay. So these are like mirror fees. Fine. Coming to the third kind of distribution, which is also called as left skewed distribution. It is also called as negative skewed distribution. Here, the left hand side will be a little bit elongated and then the right hand side, right? So here, the perfect example, I'll say lifespan of human being. Lifespan of human being. Because there are many people, if I talk about the average lifespan, it is somewhere around 50 to 70. So 50 to 70 will basically be falling in this particular region. There will be people who will be dying quite early in the age, but there will be also very less number of people who will be living more than 70 years, probably near 100 and all. Again, a perfect example to make you understand. Yes, if you have some more examples, definitely many people had also written in the morning and I, I love, like most of the examples itself, right? Now coming to the second question, what is the exact relationship with respect to mean, median and mode? It is very, very much simple. Just by seeing this particular diagram, I think you'll be able to know it guys. Mean in the right skewed distribution over here will be greater than median 
and median will be greater than mode right so mean will be greater than median and median will be greater than mode so this is the exact relationship that you'll be able to find just by seeing this particular diagram you'll be able to understand in the case of symmetrical distribution mean will be approximately equal to median it will be approximately equal to mode so this is the second uh, relationship that you find out with respect to normal distribution the third one basically what you see over here if i take a, this particular example over here your mode is highest then your median then your mean right so this is the exact relationship let me just write it down if you are getting confused first the highest will be mode then your median you have because median will be obviously smaller than mode then you have mean so this is the relationship that you find out with respect to the neg negative skewed data so this is what the interviewer may be expecting probably remember whenever this kind of questions are asked always make sure that you know some of the examples because if you tend to forget this particular topics also just with the help of those examples you'll be able to explain it in a proper way trust me guys practical knowledge definitely understanding of that theoretical is very very much important if you are able to relate this theoretical thing with some practical stuff you will be able to understand you will be able to relate once you able to relate it you will be able to understand you will be able to explain it okay so this is what i really wanted to cover just let me know whether uh, you like this kind of thing or not because every day i'll at least come up with one interview questions probably and then i'll try to explain you completely from end to end so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye